Hello. No. <laughs> Hello. Thank you for buying our book, The School Year Survival Guide. One of the things that we're super excited about in this book is that we are teaching you <laughs> that how- That it's finished. That it's finished. <laughs> no joke. Is that we're teaching you how to MacGyver your leftovers because we always- Are you- Are you- Would you want to sit this one out? One of the things that we're most excited to share with you in our new book, The School Year Survival Cookbook, is the leftover section. We always joke that um, when we were single, that leftovers were the things that we hated the most, and we're always like, oh, wasn't that cute? When oh, you... no, I didn't, never even took them. Now take the leftovers. Oh, take my Take all of them. Yes. Take the ones that people don't want. But I do find that as a parent, sometimes my kids complain if I make, um, I don't know, like this this chicken uh, caprese that we're gonna talk about today, yeah. and then I serve it again the next night, they're like, I get complaints. Well, yeah, and that's what children do. They complain about food and the food in front of them. Yes. They're gonna love these leftovers yes. because we're gonna show you how to reimagine a leftover from one meal and turn it into a brand spanking new meal. It's gonna be shiny and delicious. So in the book, there's four different ones, but now we're gonna give you even more. Here's some leftover chicken from last night's dinner, yep. and it's actually a recipe from the book. It's called a caprese skillet chicken, is yep. that what it's called? It's a super delicious um, And I'm just gonna slice dish. it up for you, it's just get it ready. It's really nicely pizza. seasoned, it's tasty. And so now I'm asking Laura to thinly slice yes. it. And we're gonna turn this uh, dish into something brand new. The kids won't even remember that it was related. And honestly, we picked all the things children loved. Yeah, it's true, right? It's true. So yeah. pizza, being yeah. one of them, yeah. is definitely something that you should always have in your back pocket. Yeah. And having a flatbread in your freezer gets you even there fast. So I'm spreading onto the flatbread uh, a store-bought pesto. I mean, if you make your own, <laughs> you're a better. You're a better person. <laughs> You're a better person than I am. This is just the way I imagine this pizza coming together. You could use a tomato sauce instead of the pesto if you know yeah. that that's gonna go over better. Like, make life simpler, not You could even harder. just put <laughs> oil on it. 100%. And, and then yep. maybe even some ricotta cheese yep. and have a really creamy white pizza, mm. which is so delicious. White pizza, why aren't we making white pizza? That's my favorite. Next time. Okay. okay, so now can you arrange yeah, sure. so the I've chicken on there? Yeah, sure, so I've sliced up this chicken. And obviously, if you were using another protein, that would work too. Or this yeah. could be vegetarian, right? 100%. You could, yeah, you could skip the protein if you didn't have it or you just didn't want it. Now I'm gonna put some fresh tomato. Mm. Yeah. What kind of cheese do we have here? Mozzarella? That's mozzarella. Right, so you could so use nice melty cheese. Is Ever what you're cheese for. you had. I love fontina on things mm. like this because it, it has such a good melt factor. Lots of cheese. Lots of cheese. Like, do not scrimp on the cheese. And then Laura's going to top it with some fresh basil. Yeah. If, if you or, know what? If you're doing this in or, November or and you don't basil. have it, it's a Canadian thing. What to say? Basil. I, did I say basil? Mm -hmm. Oh, did I? Oh, right, because basil is the person, not the... Oh, oh, and the oven is ready for it's us. It's ready. And so we're just gonna pop this into a 450 degree oven. And it's only gonna need about eight to 10 minutes. It's really just until the cheese is bubbly and melty because you know the chicken's already cooked, so you're not really worried about cooking. Oh, blast of heat. Okay. Now you can pour yourself a glass of wine. Watch an Instagram movie. So, I can Our tell pizza. by the smell that my pizza is done. That's so funny. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I can't wait to have some. So, you know, if you make this, your kids are gonna be so excited. They're not even gonna realize that this is part of last night's dinner. You're just gonna say, pizza's ready. If you bought extra flatbread and did two of these, you could have one for dinner and then make the other one for school lunches. And so, and you're gonna feel and so <laughs> freaking <Amen>. smart <laughs> that tomorrow's and 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 I would say that pizza is the one thing that they won't complain about having no, twice in a row, no, no. right? And that the lunchbox will actually come home empty. Is it, is it gonna be super hot? It is gonna be super hot, but how else do you eat a pizza? You're right. Mmm. Mmm. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you never miss a video. Or dinner. <laughs> I have the giggle. <laughs> I see that. I need a minute. You need to go.